Hey everyone and welcome back to Immortals Phoenix Rising. On this video, we're doing the quest, Bolt from the Blue. So, we find this one to the north, right there. Lightning struck a majestic bird, sending it spiraling down onto a cliff. Did I leave the motion sensors on again? Oops. Z. So our objective is to reach the fallen bird. And that is 730 meters from here. Let's go. I love being able to fly this fast. It's gonna get me like halfway there. Right, dropping down. Good, bust out the unicorn. Okay, so we need to get up there. Uh, I'll just climb up right here. It's probably an easier route, but this is fine. Obviously, this will help. shape too proud to quit huh well so am I Phoenix stay away from that thing what are you doing here I saw the lightning strike naturally I came right away to finish the job easy kills are a specialty of mine why am I not surprised well I'm saving the bird and I won't take no for an answer no, it's a creature of Typhon. Wait, I'm having a vision. You're going to say... But it needs our help. Then I'll say, it's just waiting to kill us as soon as it has the chance. Then you'll say, Hermes, please, don't make me blackmail you. I'll tell Hera what you did. Then I'll say, you wouldn't. But I know deep down you would, so I agree to help you. All the while, looking for an opportunity, as soon as you let your guard down, to strike. Well, you got me cornered, kid. For now. Since Typhon brought that thing out of Tartarus, you'll need food from down there to revive it. The same food Hades fed to Persephone. Seeds of the dead. I only know of one on the island. Then I'm going to get that seed. Sit tight. Me or the bird? Because I don't think that thing can sit. Alright, we need to help the bird with a seed of the dead, which can be found over here, which is in the gates of Tartarus. That is an extremely high level area, so you should probably avoid fighting things like those on the left. So I'm gonna go to the right, and I'm gonna try to get to that seed and just get it and get out. I do not wanna fight anything here. I am not quite ready. Discovered the gates of Tartarus. Alright, so there's more enemies over there on the left. We'll just climb up over here. Okay, and we made it. Okay, now we just gotta get back. That's much easier than getting in. Because now I've got elevation on my side. All 
All right, no sweat. Hey, proud guy. I've got the... Seed. I'm sorry, kid. Come on. We'll go get some drumsticks. They're on me. Oh, well, that makes things easy. We got the drumsticks right here. Proud fellow. Kind of a stuck up rare breed typhon lit on fire, huh? If you please, Your Excellency. <coughs> I'm going to name him Phosphor. After Phosphorus, the morning star. <coughs> Phosphor says that he's still weak and needs to regain more strength. He'd like to offer to help you on your journey to repay the debt for saving his life. He, uh, <clears throat> also loves the new nickname. <laughs> like, really loves it. Don't you, Fosfo? I told you this was the right decision. Helping an evil undead bird? Brilliant. <laughs> I take it all back. You were totally on the money. That beautiful bird. ...is offering to take us to Daedalus's secret treasure room! No way! The genius inventor who built this island! The one and only. He says there's a pile of Electrum with my name on it. <coughs> oh, yes. There's also a second seed of the dead that can make Phospho stronger than ever. Would you look at that? Doing good deeds results in good deeds in return. Who would have thought? Is that a trick question? Because the answer is clearly, no one. So, there are two clues that lead to this treasure room we need to find. And by we, I mean you. One is near the Dracon Bones, the second is near the Aqueduct. Isn't that right, Phospho? <coughs> I told you he adores his new nickname, right? Completed Bolt from the Blue. We got a new quest, Eagle Eye. And another new quest, The Name of Love. Phosphor Skins. You can customize Phosphor with new skin variations. Each skin has a different effect on one of Phosphor's godly powers. Alright, cool. We got the bird. So finally, we get to check out all those skins. So the default one is Phosphor the Phoenix. Creates one stamina orbs on hit with Phosphor's attack. When you extend a helping hand, you get a friend for a lifetime. A very fiery friend. All right, then we've got Phosphor of Companionship. Lethal stealth attack does not cancel Phosphor's cloak. Enduring love is something to be admired. Phosphor will stick around through thick and thin, even when the going gets tough. We have Phosphor of Zeus's Lightning. Phosphor's clone explodes and inflicts 402 damage. If you hear a weird sizzling, don't worry. It's just Phosphor's wings buzzing with an electrical charge. No biggie. Phosphor the Lovebird. Plus 150% stun with Phosphor's attack. Not every bird sings a love song, but Phosphor certainly can. He knows that while one love may die, another can be reborn in its place. Phosphor the Phoenix is the default one, and Phosphor the Stone Gazer. Minus 50% stamina consumption over time with Phosphor's cloak. Phosphor carries Medusa's thirst for vengeance in this form. Thankfully, he's ready to direct it at your enemies. Alright, so for the time being, I'm just going to stick with the default, because that is pretty self-explanatory and sounds decent. Alright, so our quest is done, but we are not done. What I would like to do is head 
to the south. So down here, I want to do the navigation challenge, challenges, fresco challenge, the vault. There's also another fresco like right here, I think. Constellation challenge, and somewhere in here is a legendary animal I want to take down. So let's head over to the Hall of the Gods. Feeling a bit woozy and spaced out? Maybe you shouldn't have eaten that discolored pomegranate you found. I hate to break it to you, but you're dead. This is the underworld. This room. Forever. Just kidding. Ha! The fates intervened, and you were sent to my secret hideaway. But there should be something in there you'll find useful. <laughs> Enjoy! What the heck? I've never had this happen. Alright, Hermes is giving me some treasure, apparently. Cool, new visual bristled summer pelt. Alright, let's check that out, and then I gotta figure out how the heck to get out of here. Uh, so, customize. Bristled summer pelt. A boar's favorite summer pastime is sunning their broad shoulders. Because when they're warmed up, they're ready to rumble. Alright, so there's our new look. Alright, so what do we do? I guess I just walk over here. Interact. Okay, well that was interesting. Must be very rare, because I've fast traveled a decent amount and that's never happened. So anyways, I do have coins of Charon. I could get some new Phosphor upgrades, but I want to get used to the base attack first and then I'll expand from there um, I do know there's new live tasks um, because I haven't played in a while except for earlier I was just sort of getting the hang of things again and then I accidentally completed a task and forgot that they are account wide and not save wide so it was just for some random ingredients I had it got me 30 electrum so on top of that we've got big bad ugly some monsters are worse than others, Zeus being the worst of them. Kidding, but what's not a joke is that I need you to go after the baddest of them all. And we need to defeat Azomini the Hurricane. Okay, then we got supersized. Rocky cliffs with crevices aplenty accumulate lots of moisture. Sometimes gigantic mushrooms that give you stamina grow there. At least I think they're mushrooms. Hope I'm not eating manure. So find the overgrown crafting ingredient, and then our weekly is Stamina of the Sticks. And completing it under 1 minute and 28 seconds gives 165 Electrum. Alrighty, so I believe we're ready to take off. So we're heading in that direction. I believe the fresco that I need to do is right there, but I'm a little too far away. It's not popping up. But that's where I'm gonna point at. So here we go. And I've got Phosphor flying with me, that's so cool. We're so majestic! Right, I'm getting low on stamina, I better drop down. Once I'm over the water, it's unicorn time. Right, so we're definitely close enough now. Where's that fresco? Right there. Okay, here we are, sneaking. Oh, you're gonna get it. Stealth attack! Alright, he spawned his little buddies right out the gate. Just give him a combo up. Hey, you! Come here! Yeah, take him for that! Uh, 
don't like that that one's way over there. Dang it. Well, I had a great combo ready, but you ruined it. Hey, Fospo, help me out. Hey, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Not do nearly enough damage there. Bring them up. Take that. Ooh, with authority. Look at him fly. Okay, we need rocks. Put that rock right there. This rock. Wait, oh, oops. wrong button. A little rusty. Alright, it's okay. Put this rock here. And this rock. Right. Alright, that unlocks the fresco. This one is very easy. All we need to do is rotate this around. That there. That up. And that to the left. Perfect. Four coins of Kara. Remember when Aphrodite gave Psyche tasks to psych her out? The strangest one was having her sort an enormous pile of barley, chickpeas, lentils, beans. Stop! You sorting through the whole list is just as bad! Alright, next we're gonna go to the navigation challenge down here. One of Psyche's more fearsome tasks from Aphrodite was to harvest wool from a golden sheep while steering clear of its horns. Yes, the things we do for style. All right, so this one should be easy. I can use my mount to get over there. So, let's go. more coins of Charon. From here, we're going to another navigation challenge. Right here. Right, this one's a bit trickier than the last. So, we need to get to the light beam, and here we go. Usually the music stops, but anyways, got our coins. Okay, going right into the next thing. There's a fresco right below us. Alright, let's see. For this one, I'm gonna push this up. I'm gonna push this over there. This one down. And there we go. This takes me back. Psyche went to the underworld and met Persephone, who gave her Aphrodite's beauty ointment in a basket. All she had to do was give it to Aphrodite without peeking. But Aphrodite knew curiosity would get the better of Psyche. And she knew Persephone would never give her enemy a simple face lotion. So when Psyche peered inside the basket, smoke put her to sleep instead. 
She got tricked. All right, anyways, right next door is a vault. Medusa's lair. Okay, so there is a chest, as usual. Right there. Activate that, and here we go. So, pretty self-explanatory. Get through this section. Don't fall. Get my stamina back and go. Okay, no sweat. All right, here's where it's gonna get a little trickier. We got laser beams. Here we go. Okay, almost got a little too high there, but we're good. All right. Okay, I think that timing should work. Oh, crap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Reset. I don't know what I was doing there. That was terrible. I thought there was another stream that I was going for. It looks like there's two. Ah, it was just the angle. All right, that threw me off. All right, so here we go. For realsies this time. Here. Okay, and then this way. Alright, good. Alright, made it through. Now for our chest, which is over there. So we gotta be quick here. What we're gonna do is shoot the target and then quickly get over to the chest because it's on the timer. Go. Oh, never mind. I forgot. It doesn't have fall off. So right there. Here we go. Alright. Got it. With a little time to spare. Uh, now we need to get it open again. I don't know if I can do a charge shot that far. No, I'll do Apollo Zero. There we go. Chest. Cool, new visual, bristled harvest pelt. It's this one? Yeah. In autumn, a common sound heard on the Golden Isle is the rumbling movement of boar herds. A great mass of grunts, tusks, and fury. There we go. All right, I gotta get back. Uh, don't remember if I need the air streams or not. Oh, they're just gonna stay on now. Well, okay, that makes it easy. Okay, activate this. And it's a little trickier. Here we go. Now, I don't know how to avoid the falling rocks. I guess, like, you just kind of do. Oh, crap! Oh! Jeez, I was not expecting that laser beam, but we're good. That hurt a little bit. Let me heal up. Never been hit by a laser beam, man. That's new. Alright, so we should actually time this so I don't get owned by that laser beam. And I'm gonna say now. Oh, never mind. I thought that was much closer crap. Alright, I suck at this, apparently. Oh, jeez. Oh, I got revived. Okay, well, the rock got me. Oh, god. Okay, that's okay, we'll just go right here. 
Yay, I made it. It wasn't pretty. But I made it. So yeah, I don't really know what you can do about the rocks. You just kind of have to avoid them. Obviously, I don't have a great strategy here, but I made it. It was not pretty, but that vault is complete. And now I don't have my blessing, which I kind of wanted for the upcoming battle. But, oh well. So, we need to get up. Okay, so, let's see, up at the very top, we've got some Ambrosia. Could start with that, but I think we'll start with the Constellation Challenge, which is this one. Discovered Eros's Haven and uh, a bunch of bad guys. Yeah, you want some of this? Tan threw him pretty well. Can't see his health. He's almost done. Alright, you know what? You get a rock. Rocks are fun. Eat that. Oh, you're dead. We we'll just have to push Typhoon into the sea. Oh, wait. I'm hearing he can breathe underwater. We're screwed. <laughs> We're fine, buddy. Don't worry. Okay, so. Let's see, we'll head down to the Constellation Challenge first, which is over here. Enemy there. If there's one love story that always gets me, hmm. it's the story of Psyche and Eros. Really? Yeah, come on. After finishing the trials and reuniting with Eros, who wouldn't grant Psyche immortality so they could be together forever? That's sweet, Zeus. Shut up. Here we go. Ah, buddy. Don't have any friends this time. Ha ha ha! Check that. I don't think I can stop him. Yeah, he's got to You know what? Come here, shield guy. Take that! Hey, get, get you up there. It's not fair. Take that. Alright, he's down. Should be able to finish him easily. Alright, Constellation Challenge. Looks like we need six balls. That's a lot of them. So, our first one is going to be over here. Let's see, how does this work again? Maybe it's this side? Uh, well now I'm confused. I'm missing something obvious. I 
feel like I'm missing something obvious. Maybe I could break this. No. Is there a target in there? No. I don't remember what I did. Maybe, well here, let me just shoot an arrow in there. See what I can see. Huh. I did this a while ago and I've obviously forgotten how I got in there. So confused. Okay. <laughs> oh right, it's over here. Now I feel dumb. All right, enemy. He's done. That's right. There's a little cave over here. He's down. Okay, and then we break through here. That's right. Okay, I mean it more difficult than it is. Okay, so orb goes here. And we can activate. All right, so we need more yes. orbs. Let's go over here. I see there's a little uh, tunnel here. So, target there. And then we can hit that switch. Go upstairs, you'll see what that switch was for. Alright, so you can see it was for that door. We've got one crystal lit up. And let's see, how do I get that active again? I go over here and shoot the target. There we go. And that gives us another orb. Take this to the spot. And I'll just toss it over there. Long distance! Ah, crap, don't go down! No! Crap. Shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, no, where'd it go? No, ball, come back! Hey. Don't you growl at me. Oh, he saw me anyway. What the heck? Alright, whatever. Fight you! Boss 4, do you think? Yeah, hit him. Oh. All right. So Oh, defeat soldiers of the dead. 20 of them. Nice. Get the hammer finish. Boom. All right, a little exhausted, but that's fine. Heal up with the pomegranate. Where did my ball go? My ball's right here. Okay, so this ball goes one in. 
Alright, so what's the deal here? I think we're just missing the one torch. Yep, super easy. I would toss it over there, but last time it didn't work out so well. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. Now, what else? Well, actually, you know what? Let me go this way. Right, so there's an orb in there. We break this. Oh, can't quite get there. I got something I could throw at it. Yeah, I got a rock. Take that. Oh, what? That's terrible. Did you miss? Come on, Phoenix. There we go. Okay, so stand on this. And then do a loop de shot. Fantastic. All right, drag this all the way upstairs. Okay, and we'll plop that down right here. So three more. Right, let's go this way. Alright, so another one in there. with this one again. I think I need to go over here. Got some enemies. Sneak attack! Oh, got them both. Nice. Okay, so what was the deal here? I think I stand here. Yeah, that lets me shoot through. Here and then light. And oh, I didn't even get the light. Well, never mind the light or the fire. All right, got it. Now, this actually could be it. I know I said I need three more, but I might be a liar. This might actually be it, because I I can either use one or both of the orbs that uh, activated it in the puzzle. Because it's already activated, so I don't need those orbs anymore, if I remember correctly. But I can't remember if I can take both or just one. Let's find out together. So, plot that down. Take this orb. Okay, yeah, it looks like that's the trick. So drop that. And then can I grab this? Yes, I can. Okay, looks like we are done.
Oh, and we completed another task. So we need to get back to the hall after we're done. Because we've got two things we can turn. That's awesome. Alright, so I'm going to head up and get the Ambrosia at the very top. So I think I can go up. This is if I'm not mistaken. Oh, actually, no, it's over here. This is the way I want to go up. Definitely gonna get some pomegranate. Okay, and I think from here we climb. So, going up. up and ambrosia oh crap awesome. messed up there all right got the ambrosia okay up to three uh, let me take a quick look around just make sure I haven't missed anything since I've got this perch to look at things from but I think we're actually good yeah, looks like it. So all that remains in this area is the legendary beast, which is down there. So let's go get it. We'll make sure we're prepared before we engage. And unfortunately, I don't have the blessing, so I can't take a death. It is Nightmare of Daedalus, Legendary Minotaur. I wish I had a few more defense potions, but should be fine. So, here we go. Attack potion and stealth. Ooh, 1,890, not bad. Oh, okay. Don't lose the combo! Okay. Still got my um called free hit. Oh crap! Oh I somehow avoided that. Nice. Woo! Crap, keep the combo! Oh, I kept it! Oh, lost that. Putting up defense. Oh, this combo is nasty. Ooh, I managed to avoid him smashing down with my power. I'm gonna send Phosphor at him. Get a Phosphor. Oh, it actually stuns it. I like that. Monster is not bad. Oh, crap. Got me there. Putting my uh, next strength one up. Oh, crap. Oh, leaving the encounter area. Crap. Alright, hold on. Save the combo. Good, good, good. Woo! Save the combo! Got it. Crap. Oh, God! All right, ran him into the pillar. Oh, he's almost stunned. Let's see if we can, ah, crap. Oh, I lost it, dang it. All right, well, we could at least go for the stun, maybe. How much stun did Foster do? I felt like he did it. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my, oh, he's dead. I wasn't paying attention. Defeated the Nightmare of Daedalus, Legendary Minotaur. Oh, my blessing's almost back. 
Acquired Phosphor of Passion. What's that one? Let's see. Phosphor of Passion, plus two hits with Phosphor's attack. The sparks of new love burn hot and quick. Will they stay alight? In this form, Phosphor fans those fires. One plus two hits with Phosphor's attack seems like a good thing. So we're gonna keep it. Cool. Let's grab all this stuff. What is that? Oh, that's the stamina from his attack. Got it. Alright, using a pomegranate. Or not. There we go. Okay, so that's it for this area, except for the big island out there that we're saving for later and that little island. But yeah, other than that, we're done out here. So let's go to the map. And we'll head back to the Hall of the Gods, and if I do need to return, I now have a fast travel over here to Eros's Haven, so that's nice. Okay. So... I guess we'll do the normal stuff and see if we can get any upgrades. Pretty sure I've only got like three or four Ambrosia. Yeah, three Ambrosia. Might have enough Zeus's lightning. Oh no, not even close. I need two more. But I do have lots of coins. So, 36 coins, huh? What can we do with Phosphor? Phosphor Shockwave. Phosphor's attack creates a shockwave around the target for each hit, inflicts 201 damage and 150 stun. Oh, that is not bad. And it has two extra hits from the Phosphor I just got from the skin. And then there's Phosphor's Cloak. Hold circle. Use Phosphor's power to become invisible to enemies until you attack, jump, take damage, or stand. Hold circle to cancel while remaining crouched. Interesting. That is not bad. Full invisibility. But I think I'm going to start with this one. Phosphor Shockwave. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, you know what? Also, let's get... Yeah, I like this. Heracles' Leap. While targeting an enemy, L1 plus Triangle consumes one stamina chunk to leap towards enemies. That is pretty awesome. Gap Closer. I'll take it. So, eight for that. And let's see. What about the normal powers? I think I've pretty much got everything I want here. I don't care about the bow stuff. Oh, I don't have the axe dodge attack. So, square followed by R2. Strong attack that deals 148 damage and 222 stun. Can be used while midair to grant a vertical boost on hit. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that. That's a good one to have. The sprint attacks, I don't care. Sword launcher, not really. Axe smash is interesting. You know what? Let's get axe smash. I don't think I'll be using it that often, but it's only five coins. So strong attack that knocks back enemies, deals 594 damage and 346 stun. Let's do that. Cool. And I will save my other ten coins for later. Okay, I know I have some tasks done. So, defeat soldiers of the dead. We did it. Complete. Mythmaker. Ready to prove yourself? Stop picking off Stop picking off animals in battle and set your sights on some bigger prey. These monsters might have inspired myths, but rest assured they're very real. So, defeat mythical monsters. 40 of them. Uh, not very... <laughs> not a whole lot of detail there. I don't know what mythical monsters are. Pretty vague. But, anyways. Uh, so, we did 20 myth challenges. Good. Alright, Achilles' other heel. 
Fleeing King Minos and his imprisonment, Daedalus avoided capture with fancy footwork. He challenged us gods to do the same. Now where did I put those special edition winged shoes? Alright, so complete four navigation myth challenges. We have done so. Complete that. Old Greek Road. Daedalus knew that music could tame even the savage Minotaur. Perhaps it would have the same effect on us gods, he thought. But in reality, we're more cookies and warm milks or and warm milk fans. Alright, so complete liar myth challenges, three of eight. Five to go. Alright, cool. So we got a new weapon, the Challenger Sword. Uh, another new weapon, the Fabled Victor Sword. And two Zeus's Lightning. Nice, I can get a stamina upgrade now. And two coins of kick. Alright, so let's get that stamina upgrade. Okay, and then uh, weapons upgrades, I don't know. Oh, actually, um, I probably need some potions. I'm pretty low on defense potions, but I don't have many supplies. There we go. I'm um, actually doing good on health potions, but may as well max it out. Attack potions, a little low on supplies for that. Stamina, I can make plenty of those. Oh, and I totally forgot to look at my new swords. So, we have the Challenger Sword. Refills 80% of a stamina chunk on killing blows with sword combo, and refills 120% of a stamina chunk on killing blows with the sword air combo. And then the Fable... Oh, I should look at it. There we go. And then the Fabled Victor Sword. Plus 13% damage with sword combo while stamina is full, and creates three stamina orbs on perfect dodge. Eh, it's okay. But it looks cool, so I'm gonna go with that. Alright, and then, uh... Oh, Ubisoft Connect, core challenge completed. Okay. Uh, so, let's take a look. Doesn't look like I can get... Oh, actually, I could get another swords upgrade. That would be big. But... I don't know. I The thing I'm trying to avoid is trivializing the game, and that may very well trivialize it. So, maybe I'll just get an axe upgrade instead. Yeah, let's do that. So, we'll go with an axe upgrade. There we go. And, uh, let's see. Can I get a defense boost? Yes, I can. So, armors, we can get those up to 20 defense. Right, and then arrows, potions, nah. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're done with all those upgrades. I might have new tutorial stuff just because I got the bird now. Just take a quick look. But I might actually be fine. Yep, nothing there. Alrighty, so with that, we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.